This episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one seller of games and gaming accessories. And GatheringMagic.com, the number one resource for Magic the Gathering news and articles. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've recorded a video. Um, but after the Pro Tour coverage, I watched uh, Detora Top 8 with a uh, band controller splashing Keswick Wolfron. It's pretty much up my alley. Uh, I've had an affinity for Bant Control since Kunio and Reed uh, both played it uh, quite a bit before in Grand Prix and in Star City events. Uh, to see what's going on with her list, I made a few changes, but it shouldn't impact the deck too significantly. I added a land for the third Augur Bolas and the sideboard is slightly different with Gar Garruk Primal Hunter instead of Garruk Relentless and Terminus because I think there's a lot of creature decks. To look at it more closely, we have this many things to do on turn 2, which is 4, 8, 12, um, 6 things to do on turn 3, 7 things to do on turn 4, and 4 things to do on turn 5, and a bunch of spells that really this can be useful on turn 2 or later, and these are only useful on turn 5 plus or later, essentially. Uh, previously, I had discussed the mana curve in my articles, and I just wanted to bring up how there's a lot of things to do on 2, and then there's a few late game spells to try to win the game with, essentially. And that's kind of a big deal. Uh, the board consists of two Rest in Peace, two Negate, two Dissipated Detention Sphere, three more Sweepers. This is this fourth Supreme Verdict she already had, but I added the two Terminus. Three Rocks Faith Mender are really good at doing their job, which is doubling your life gain. Garrick Primal Hunter comes in in Attrition Matchups and in Control Mirrors. Uh, this, looks, this list looks very solid. Kiss Up Wolfron makes every single creature you have a huge threat. The two Agar Bolas, three Centaur Healer, four Restoration Control, four Thragtusk mean this is a much more creature heavy build of Bant than we're used to looking at. That means Kiss Up Wolfron is much more effective than it would be in the old Black Splash Bant decks, which I was previously a fan of, but this list seems to be doing something entirely different. Uh, and it seems quite solid. Reed will be playing Jun mid-range, similar to the list he played at the Pro Tour, which I believe the major innovation was adding Arbor Elf to give it things to do earlier on turn one, one and two. Uh, Jun was somewhat prone to clunky draws, and just having another accelerant on turn one and two is a big deal. I think previously this matchup was extremely close, Game 1 is Bant is a favorite. Uh, games 2 and 3 becomes a lot more tricky if they have Duress, Rakdos, Return, uh, Liliana, and Slaughter games especially is kind of a problem. Uh, the Garricks come in to help counter some of that. The Dissipates and Negates come in as well. But I think overall it's still kind of a very tricky minefield to walk, to walk in games 2 and 3. But I think overall it's a very very close matchup and there's going to be a lot of interesting plays. Um, so now we'll wait for Reed. Um, here we go with match one. Uh, it looks like Reed gave us slightly more time because he knows I'm playing Bant and time is somewhat of an issue. Turn 1, I'm going to play Temple Garden. Turn 2, Farseek. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Still Temple Garden because of Supreme Verdict. Hmm. Nothing on 2. It's pretty good for me. Um, just have to Farseek here. Getting... Team vents, probably.
feels a little yawny here. It's kind of bad for me. Yuck. I'm going to discard Breeding Pool. Yeah, Olivia's not the best for me. So first I'm going to Augur to see which land I should play. Ugh. It's a slight misplay to uh, not leave the blue-green land up. But I'm going to just take two and cast Farseek now. To get Hallowed Fountain, probably. Yeah, Hallowed Fountain. This is a very difficult card to get rid of for Bant once it's in play, especially since there's only one uh, Detention Sphere in my main deck. So it's going to be very, very annoying to deal with. I think I'm almost only discarding Think Twice, because Bant needs most of its lands, especially with Kessig and Revelation in your deck. He discarded a land. I hope it's not a Huntmaster. Ugh. Well. Well, so by this point, I think I am going to discard a land and just try to kill Zoliana with Thrag Tusks, even though it's not going to work. So the most likely play he has this turn is plus one, discard something, and just leave both of his guys back, flip his hunt master on his turn. So I'm gonna discard land. <coughs> he almost certainly has another guy though. Ugh. Oh, this is very, very bad for me now. Um, I think I still have to attack Oliana here. Actually, like, if he ults next turn, it's probably fine for me, because I will float a bunch of mana and uh, Revelation for two and try to draw into some lands. I mean, it depends a lot on what his last card is here, though. Or, sorry, he drew another card, so he has two access to two cards here. Kessig Wolfron. Uh, it's minorly awkward. I'm just gonna take it. The damage is not that relevant. I guess he's gonna ult me here? It's kind of hard to see what's going on. Alright, now we'll let him split. You have to float with the ability on the stack, otherwise probably what's going to happen is we're going to lose half of our lands. Um, but actually this uh, scenario is not the worst for us. I mean, it's not ideal, but let's see how he splits. Choose a pile to sacrifice. I think I would rather keep more lands. So I'm giving up the ability to trade with the thing for one creature, but I think it's fine.
Alright, that's pretty reasonable. Um, I'm going to cast this first. And we brick. I think by this point I definitely want to just trade with this guy. And not even bother casting the Zoya's Charm next turn. Yeah, Rakdos' return was very, very good for him this game. Yep. Alright. Um, that's minorly awkward, but it's not the end of the world. I'm just going to block again this turn and reduce the amount of damage I take because I'm probably going to verdict his guy and I will cast think twice first to get more information about what I should do huh I guess he's playing around wrath pretty well here this guy because I have to. He, probably, he almost only has more creatures right now. Drag Tusk. Nope. Uh, that one doesn't matter that much. This matchup. I want to play all my lands so if I draw a revelation it can be for a lot. He has to decide if I have a Azorius Charm or not. His life total doesn't matter, so he can just play that for free. I'm not going to charm it yet. It's another very annoying card right now. So I have all my counters off of my deck. I think I just have to see if I draw into a counter here. Nope. That's gonna be very bad news for me. Um, so if he has another land which he can draw into next turn, he can ping and seal my guy, but there's not much I can do about that anyways, I think. So, healer. Hope he has nothing really, really good here. Another play he can make is attack me with Olivia, pump it for three, and then draw six cards, which is also very bad for me, and it looks like it's the play he's making. Yep, this game is basically over unless I draw Revelation next turn. Um, so I have to block, otherwise I'm dead next turn. Let's see, puts me to two. Even drawing. Yeah, I have to block. It's very bad. <coughs> see. Nope, that'll do it. A quick game one. The Liliana was uh, very annoying, and then he followed it up with... 
he followed it up with the uh, Garrick. So, actually, I think I want all my counters in this matchup. I can probably shave the Centaur Healers, it doesn't feel like they do that much. And I want my own Garrick's. Syncopate, like, loses value if your opponent plays around it. And it's hard to tell if I want the Detention Sphere versus uh, Decay or not. I'm going to say I probably want it. I think Charm is pretty bad versus him, though, so I'm going to board it out. So that leaves us with Syncopate, Second Sphere, maybe a Third Verdict. Yeah, we'll try that. I'm not 100% convinced that this is the right configuration, but it seems reasonable to try. Game two of match one. Um, this hand looks pretty good, so I'm going to keep it. Playing Howard Fountain first. Small consideration for playing Temple Garden first. Going to play Augur hope to hit something. Revelation, that's pretty good. So all I want to do is try to buy time and grind him out with the two Revelations in my hand. Or the Garruk, actually. So, for the record, I think Primal Hunter is better than uh, Relentless in the deck because you want higher impact cards. Got a second black source. So, I think I might want to just bluff. Actually, bluffing doesn't do that much for him because he just has to play all of his spells into counters anyways. So just taking two to try to bluff him out isn't actually very good. I'm just going to be Temple Garden Pass. <clears throat> and especially buffing is very bad versus that because he just gets to see my hand and take the card he wants anyways. Oliana. Probably Edict? Nope. Going to discard a Tumble Garden. Dread Boar. Huh. Attack Oliana. Play Tumble Garden, I guess. I think by this point I need to actually discard one of the revelations and play Thraktos next turn. Hmm. Yep, I almost certainly have to do that. Also, I'm going to discard Dissipate if he plus one Zoli on the next turn. This is sort of a lock them out combo that Jund is, Jund is capable of assembling. Because he's always going to have the choice of two cards he's drawing every turn. And like, just a very good way to sort of lock a control deck like uh, Bant out. Return for one. 
Not much I can do about that. Attack. Liana, attack him. I gave a brief consideration to just attacking him, but I think it's probably wrong. If he has his own tusk, he's completely safe. Yep. Ooh, that's a it's a very, very good top deck. I'm going to just draw five here. And I'm completely back in this game. And this is why I like uh Garrick Primal Hunter better than Relentless. Yep, he'll just trade off. That one is not as big of a deal. I'm going to just discard Farseek. I'm going to attack his Liliana, uh, see if he blocks it. Because there's a very good chance he just blocks, and then I get to sphere at post. Uh, actually, do I even sphere it? Hmm. Might just have to sphere his connections. It's pretty close either way. We'll see what happens. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to do here. I'm going to get his. I'm going to try getting his Oleana. Definitely could be wrong. I think it's close here. I do have three Dissipates in hand, so... That's going to uh, make it a bit better for this plan. Although I need to draw another Revelation soon because I have two revelations, no Garrick's left, three Thrag Tusks, four Angels? These are all five draws, pretty much. I have to dissipate that one, too. Let's think twice to see what's going on here. And again, I guess. Alright. Definitely attacking him, though. Playing Breeding Pool and Shipping. <coughs> this has been a pretty back and forth game, but this is how the matchup normally goes. Game one, he just had like a very hard to deal with draw for me. And it's the fourth to dissipate. Now Reed knows I'm out. Alternatively, a Kessig or Front actually puts him very close to dead. I also don't think Reed weaves in uh, Abrupt Decay. That's a very good draw as well. It's a return for a lot, I guess. I just have to let that go and draw seven.
Alright, so we can. So I'm playing Keswick Wolfrun. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Run for 8. I guess I just kill his Garrick here. But I'm not running for the full 8. I don't think I need to. Red, green. So this is one, two, three. This puts that six. Uh, it's, that kills both the, both of the things, and then I get to have negate for something. Also leaves up think twice if he doesn't do anything. I think I'm actually fine with that one. reason being uh, I really care more about a planeswalker by this point than uh, or Rakdos's return I guess I have to let that one go there's no chance he takes think twice here he's probably going to take negate so And also, the other thing I really want to do is just like try to protect a threat with uh, this is a return. Oh, he's still only at fourteen. All right, that's a good draw. as well. Tapping these. Let's see what I draw. Uh, pretty worthless syncopate by this point. Especially if he knows I have it in hand. I left it in because on the play it gains a lot of value to just hit, um, you know, like Oliana on turn three. I can just syncopate it for one. But here it's pretty much terrible. If he plays another creature, I'm probably not happy about that, but let's see what happens. Acidic Slime. Hmm. That's unexpected. Right, well, it happens. I'm trying to figure out if I can potentially kill him next turn. Well, not if he kills that. Flashback thing twice. We can far seek for an, another green source now. Or another red source, rather. There's basically no value to attacking here. I was trying to figure that out. 
but basically keeping all my creatures around when I, when I have a Kessick Wolf run that's about to kill him is way more valuable. Slime is a very interesting card. It's very good with Wolfrun as well, except he's not the aggressor of this game, so loses some value. I think he just drew a bunch of lands. That's what it looks like to me. <sighs> this is why I don't like having all of the Supreme Verdicts in, but... So lovely. I'm still going to wolf run for let's see. This needs need to deal on nine. So one, this needs to be a 10-3, alright. I think that kills him? Or did I mess up? Oh, I messed up! Huh. Somehow messed up the map there, but uh, hopefully it won't cost me. Yeah, I was supposed to do it for one more, and I just didn't for some reason. that apparently I had a huge brain fart that game. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I can board out a syncopate on the draw for one Azorius Charm. Then again, uh, I don't know. He has so many expensive spells in his deck, it's probably fine. This is a pretty good hand too. Certainly not gonna mulligan it. Hopefully he doesn't have his Arbor Elf. Nope, he never does. Which is very good for me. I'm going to uh, leave up Syncopate slash Think Twice mana. once. Just gonna flash it back on his turn. I can afford to wait because I have this and uh, two four seeks. Pretty likely he'll just. Well, he could have a return as well. Alright, we're gonna play Farseek. I think missing land drops is worse than not. Getting. Breeding pool because I have Garrick in my deck. It's either Breeding Pool or Howard Fountain. 
actually probably how it found there's less white sources than green sources. Yep, that was pretty likely. Uh, like just some sort of threat. Just gonna play some threats and try to kill them with him. Kill him with them, rather. That's more than fine. Okay. Uh... I think I far seek discard supreme verdict if he plus ones. Yeah. Can I get mm, breeding pool to burn breeding pool. If he plus ones, I discard Supreme Verdict. Uh, probably play Angel at his end step, depending on what he does. It's kind of strange he would activate that before. I think he has return. Looks like a return to me. Nope. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to attack his Oyana with the angel. out for its Rakdos can have negate back up. This is probably going to be a slight issue this game and we'll see if I can pressure his life total effectively enough. Probably have to stop that one though. I think I just attack him with both? Yeah. Yep. Forces through, two extra, and I take two extra, that's fine. I want to aggressively trade my life total for his at this point. It makes his uh, underworld connections less good. And I have, like, basically all of the life in the world. Now I'm just going to try to fireball him, like, every turn. Also, the Arbor Elf Force thing is pretty good. Pretty good draw. I'm for that reason I'm not gonna activate uh guess I go off on this turn. Although No, I 
don't think it's right. If he ever taps out again, like, he's basically just gonna die to my angel. He needs to find a Thrag Tusk, I guess? Tusk or Huntmaster? Alright, now I have to cast it. Alright, he's gonna probably take the second revelation. He can't return me for four because he'll just die to that. So he has to play Thrag Tusk. And hope I don't try to kill him, I think. Let's see. Is that nine? Four, four, one, two, three, four. Yep, I think I just have him dead with a negate back up, just in case. And that's match one.